Hey there, welcome back to Poly Academy. Hopefully you've gone ahead and set up some surveys on your own. Maybe you set up a recurring survey or a pulse survey. And now that you're an expert on survey creation, let's talk about some of the things that you can do around your surveys to help you get the most responses. So today we're gonna talk about setting up reminders for your polls and surveys, scheduling your polls and surveys in advance, as well as your advanced publishing options that you have access to. So let's pop over to the web app and we'll take a look. Great, so here we are in our Poly web app. I have the survey pulled up that we were setting up last time around the all hands meeting. So if we scroll down, we'll see a couple of options here that I kind of glossed over last time that we'll cover today. So let's say that you have your all hands meeting at 10 a.m., but it's Friday afternoon. You don't have a lot going on. You wanna set this survey up in advance so that you don't have to worry about it on Tuesday morning when things are crazy. So that's where our scheduling feature would come in handy. So if we click schedule here, you can actually select a day and a time that you want this to go out. So for us, if our all hands meeting was at Tuesday at 10, maybe we want this out to go out on Tuesdays at 11. That way the all hands is fresh in everyone's mind. They can answer before they get back into their work, etc. Let's say though that somebody has to run to a meeting or if somebody forgets to respond at that time and things kind of move along. You can also set up reminders with Polly. So if you choose to set up a reminder, you have a couple of options as far as how many reminders you want to set out. We advise not to really send out more than two just so that you don't annoy people, but let's say for our case we want to send out two. Now you can also uh, select what frequency you want to send reminders at. So if this survey is going out every seven days and your voting is open for seven days, maybe it makes sense to set these reminders at two day intervals. That way, you know, it goes out kind of spread out across the cadence of when this survey is open. Um, if you want to send at one day intervals, you can do that too, or however many you would like. Great, so that's scheduling and setting up reminders in Poly. Now let's talk about some of those advanced publishing options that I mentioned. So in our example, we had sent out to my test channel, one channel, super easy, that makes a lot of sense. But let's say you wanna send to multiple channels. You can definitely go ahead and add that here. The one thing I'll note, however, is that that means that this survey is going to be sent via a direct message rather than directly in channel. Basically what that means is, is when you're in Slack, you can see that Polly shows up under apps and that is where the survey will be sent. And don't worry, I'll show you an example of how that's done. Great. Now, another thing you have is you can actually send to a person directly. So the survey will only go to one person. However, that will also only be sent via direct message. So I'm gonna set this to send now just so that we can see that. And then I'm gonna click send survey. Great. So then I'm going to pull open my Slack and you will see here that this was where the survey was sent. So you'll see that at 10, 10 a.m., it's 10, 10 a.m., the survey was sent out and it showed up here under the Poly app. So that's basically what we mean by sending via a direct message. Cool, so those are some of the advanced publishing options that you have access to in Poly, and we also covered scheduling and reminders. So let's talk about what we're gonna talk through next time. So next time on Poly Academy, we're gonna cover editing, resending, and reopening existing polls and surveys. So what you can do with a poll or survey once it's already been sent or closed out, don't worry, you have some options if you make a mistake. Cool. Between now and then, definitely check out reminder scheduling and our publishing options. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, check out our help content, and keep an eye out for next time for Poly 301. Thanks. Bye.